Welcome back to NWC Entertainment, you guys. And it's been a while since I did a vlog. Yeah, I've been trying to finish Dying Light. But this is about something else. This is about Final Fantasy 15. There's been so oh, I'm not gonna show my address. I think this is the box. This should be the box. I've been ordering lots of stuff on Amazon lately to fix up my car for car parts and maintenance. Anyway, this should be the one. It'd be embarrassing if it wasn't, if I opened it. It's, I'm assuming. It's, it was gonna arrive at 8 p.m., but it came early. I think this is the one. <laughs> and um I know um, I ordered mine kinds of late, kinds of, kind of late. I ordered it on uh, the day before it came out, and I did a one-day fast shipping because I tried doing two-day shipping. It's weird because you know on the 28th, two-day shipping was supposed to be third, which is supposed to be uh, the 30th or the 31st, the 31st, oh not 31st, uh, December 1st. But for some reason, it said it wasn't going to arrive like in the middle of December because they were sold out or something. So I had to do the one-day shipping, and apparently that one came earlier. I don't know how that works. But um, I'm really excited to play this game. I've been playing Glass of Dying Light. Yeah, that game is old. It is pretty dope though. So I'm trying to catch up with that. And I'm about to be done with the game. I just gotta convert like two more files of parts and then I'm gonna be playing the last part of it today to finish up Dying Light. And then probably later this weekend, I'll be moving on to Final Fantasy. And uh, I'm really excited to see this, you guys. I haven't been this excited since I got my Xbox One. You guys probably can't see it. Let me, let me, let me move this a little bit. My table's kind of messy. Let's see if you guys can see it right there. So well, that's my Xbox One that I did unbox before, and my PS4, and this is a cool controller. I love blue. I kind of wish it was in blue, but you know what? Uh, they didn't. They didn't have it in blue. They, they actually did have Xbox One in blue, but it wasn't. The deal wasn't as good as this one. The Xbox Blue one was like 500 gigs. They did lower the price to like 250 for Black Friday. I should have gotten it then, but you know what? I got my Ultimate Edition. All that mattered. It's not like I could upgrade the hard drive internally anyway. It had to be external. The PS4, you could upgrade it internally, which is pretty cool. Um, anyway, while I'm at it, hey, why, why, why the fuck not? This is my PC. Oh, yeah, this is my, my vitamins. I need more vitamins. My I, I don't have much, as you can tell. I'm very, I'm a thin boy. <laughs> this is my water. It, it uh, probably distracts you guys every now and then when I drink it. It makes a... That kind of noise. It... Uh, and I realized recently too, um, actually my video, uh, the reason why I had to like during Adobe Premiere, I adjust my volume a lot. You kind of notice that it's, it's some is high, some is low, but I realized that the volume on my mic, it's actually picking up at 26, 27 out of a hundred. And I'm like, I had to talk kind of loud and raise my voice and it gets tiring over time. And I'm like, dude, I just figured out just now about 20 minutes ago. That um, that I can just adjust the mic volume from the PC itself, cause I was assuming I had to go through through it during the uh, editing process, or during it on the you know the little knob, which wasn't working really well. Anyway, time to unbox this, and uh, it might be kind of loud, huh? Okay, let's just. Oh, that's sticky. <gasps> Oh my god, and I got the deluxe edition. I couldn't I didn't want to sell it for the regular one and I didn't want to get the really expensive one. I don't honestly don't care about figurines. It's like, you know, fanboys, you guys probably want to collect them and all that stuff, but I just want to play it and I want to have a nice case and whatnot. So this is the deluxe edition, everybody. Oh yeah, today is sunny and I got off work. I'm gonna sleep soon after this, honestly. I'm hella tired. <laughs> anyway, this is the steel case of Final Fantasy Deluxe Edition. You just kinda see the glare from the freaking light but it feels really nice if you guys are gonna get Final Fantasy I recommend you might as well get the deluxe edition it's been about like over eight years maybe ten I don't know how long it's been ten eight years since they've been like starting off with Final Fantasy 15 and it's finally out and you're gonna settle for the $60 one what the fuck are you even getting Final Fantasy for like are you a fan or you probably not even a fan you know if you don't get anything higher than the deluxe edition what the fuck Anyway, I shouldn't be talking though. I am I am having you know budget issues, money issues. But you know it's it's Final Fantasy, and this is the King's Glaive edition. So you get the Blu-ray, you get the Blu-ray movie in here. So I'm gonna open this up for you guys. I'm not gonna be really editing anything. I'm gonna open this up right now. Fuck! I got no nails. I got no nails. And and my my chef knife is in the kitchen. Yeah, my last job I was a chef. Maybe I should make a video about that and show you. The restaurant I used to work at. You guys should go visit. It's really good Japanese food. Uh, oh man, I feel very. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me.
<laughs> I am so not prepared for this, everybody. All right, uh, uh, oh, I got it, I got it, I fingered it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, I literally fingered the side of it, so it popped in. For some reason, I thought the Lux Edition would be a little bit bigger, but it's not. I got it on Amazon though, cause uh, I think GameStop is selling for ninety dollars. Amazon is like seventy five, seventy six dollars. And if you want express shipping, it's pretty much 80 bucks. So you're paying $10 less and they ship it to you. So you save gas, you know, might, might as well get it on Amazon. Unless you really care about that, that you know, ten, spend extra $10 to get GameStop points. It's like not even worth. And it came off. And it's, it's still kind of glary. It's still kind of glary. Okay, and that comes off. It looks like this without the actual case. You can see Noctis and his dad. Oh, that's that's that. That's I don't know. <laughs> I need to watch the movie. And this is the case inside. This is so old school Final Fantasy artwork right here. This is what it's all about, people. Final Fantasy. I could use my 4K camcorder to record it for you guys, like I did on my Xbox, but it takes too much time. I'm kind of lazy, and uh, you know I I have other videos I have to edit right now. <laughs> so that seems to be some kind of monster, a dragon. Uh, I don't know, some kind of goddess. I don't, I don't know, some kind of guy, that looks like some kind of guy holding on to her. He looks like the guy from uh, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, Ventus with the mask, the evil Ventus. And this is the side of it. Let's see if it focuses. It's not really focusing that well, maybe because of the brightness outside. Fuck. Well, and this is the inside. Oh, I'm not sure you might call, but this is the inside of the case. So you see you got that uh, PS4. Final Fantasy, and then you got the DLC, which is a Masamune DLC, Royal Raiment, Ra Raiment and DLC costume and Leviathan Regalia skin, which is right there. Pretty dope. And then, what else do you get? You get the Blu-ray movie on the other side. I'm so glad. I was a, honestly, I was going to get the regular edition, but it's like, you know, it's been so long in the making you might as well get the deluxe edition and support them because i've noticed if you guys noticed lately square enix they've been remaking a lot of their games and i i think like they are kind of running out of ideas their games are great but maybe they're just doing it for the new generation to play but it's just you know the star ocean that came out too under square enix uh i love uh star ocean games star ocean until the uh, the last hope was it one of the best ones i played so far and the latest one that came out, supposedly I heard it's really disappointing. I was going to buy it to play it, but I changed my mind because of the graphics and the scenery and the repetitiveness of the maps. It's just, it's not Star Ocean no more. It's like they're getting lazy on their work and just remaking things and buying other companies and making their games. But this one should be really good. Out of all the games they've made for the last couple years, instead of all the remakes, this should be really good. And uh, these are all the little booklets. World of Final Fantasy. I was about to get this game too, because it looked really cute and stuff. And it, it is it seem kind of lazy, but uh, but um, I decided not to get it because I was watching the gameplay and it was like it was turn-based tactical kind of stuff. I love strategy games, but it was just kind of bland and boring because you're just standing there and then you're attacking like old school Final Fantasy style. Have you guys ever seen old school Final Fantasy style? It, it looked pretty much like that, and I I like to see actual like stuff happen, not just well probably because I'm not as old as more people but something to look forward to and that is the unboxing of this and I'll be sure to play some video gameplays of this for you guys to see it won't really be like a full walkthrough of the entire game because you know it is Japanese and uh, I've seen some people actually doing it I don't know why they don't get in trouble for it because it is against the policies and rules that I've looked up and people are able to get away with actually uploading maybe because there's like so many uh, let's play gamers now but I'm going to just stick to gameplay videos. Maybe regular cutscenes, but not like cinematic cutscenes. I don't want to get in trouble for that. But I hope you guys look forward to that of Final Fantasy XV. And I'll see you guys on my next gameplay video. Peace out, everyone, and thanks for watching.